Hello everyone, welcome back to Manga Mondays. Today, I am redrawing a scene from one of my favorite shows, Dr. Stone. If you're not familiar with Dr. Stone, uh, the premise of it is very oddly specific, but it is a story that starts out set in the modern day. However, all of humanity is petrified and turned to stone in one random mysterious act. And thousands of years later, one person is able to break free of the stone, which is our main character, Senku. And he is trying to restart civilization and bring back all of the scientific advancements that humanity once had. Obviously, that is a very watered-down version of the plot, but, um, yeah, just go check it out for yourself if you're interested. Anyway, the scene that I'm drawing today actually covered two pages of the manga, which I decided to condense into one. I really wanted to emphasize um, my favorite part of the scene, and it, it's a, a very comedic moment, played up for laughs, but I think it's also very sweet. So, what's happening in this scene, uh, as you can see, there are two characters kissing. Well, Kohaku, the girl in the ponytail, and Senku, the main character um, with the spiked up hair, they had to make a cover story that they were dating. Um, and you'll see when I go back up to the top panels, but the friend again, that one, the one with the two-toned hair and the, the jacket he's wearing, he's the one who came up with this ruse. They were sneaking somewhere they weren't supposed to be to do research and got caught, so they needed a cover-up. And he said, oh, they're dating. And um, yeah, they kind of went with that. Kohaku was very gun-ho about it. He's like, yes, yes, that's why we're here. And Senku, being the non-romantic character that he is, was just, yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, but then Kohaku grabs him and just uh, plants a kiss right on his face to prove that they're dating. It is hilarious to watch in the anime, and it was very funny in the manga as well. I just wanted to take the, um, the panels that just focused on Kohaku and Senku especially. So it was a little difficult to condense all of that into one page, but I think I got the, the key moments that mattered to me. Something that was challenging for me was trying to copy the mangaka's style. Uh, Dr. Stone is written by a separate author and illustrated by a separate artist. Uh, I believe the artist's name is Bochi. I don't know if I am pronouncing that right. But yeah, he has a very high attention to, to details and especially when it comes to like characters' hair and the folds of their clothing and just, I don't know, he has a way of drawing like all all of the muscles and and um like poses and stuff very realistically and yet still cartoonishly it's very cool so obviously I, I couldn't really get that one for one but i tried my best and i just really tried to capture the personalities of the characters in the design i also didn't exaggerate their expressions quite as much as he does in the manga which that's that's part of my style i don't tend to do over-the-top exaggerated poses, but I did try to go for a couple more that were um, more outlandish than my usual style. And uh, Senku's hair in particular was very hard for me to draw. It's so spiked up and it's got like this ombre thing going on, but I tried my best and I think you get the picture. Uh, something else I changed was the way I drew Kohaku. See, uh, the manga style is very suggestive when it comes to how he draws women, so I wanted to change that. Especially since Kohaku is more of a tomboy character, I, I wanted to show that off in her design. And you can see, I just uh, did a little extra work with the line work, and then I moved on to shading, which is kept minimal for, for good reason. Um, I mean, you don't want to detract from the amazing line work with too many shadows. <laughs> Oh, I love this panel. Kohaku just grabbing him by the neck and spinning him around. The characters are just great in this series. Um, my favorite character in the show actually isn't pictured here. His name's Chrome, but they're all such good friends, and I think the, the personalities complement each other. Some of the characters might be tropes of certain uh, characteristics, but honestly, I think they subvert those very well. Like Senku being the the smart guy. He's just so much more than that as a main character. 
but I can appreciate that they wanted to make the main character the most intelligent one. Usually that, that role is given to like a side character, or the best friend character. But yeah, I just really wanted to draw something from Dr. Stone. It's such a great series, so many fun things to draw from it, and if you'd like to see more, please let me know. Thank you for watching, and as always, there will be a link for commissions uh, in the description. See you next time!